In today's video, we are going to be working with what we call doodle fonts. So I'm going to start in my Creative Fabrica account here and just show you if you search for doodle fonts that this is what's going to come up. And they have a lot of pre-made doodle fonts here for you. These are really fun. You just go in and you download them and then you use the letters that you want in your project. But I thought it would be fun to create some doodle fonts that actually you add your own image to. So here you can see that these are frames, Canva frames of the letters. And these are really cute ones, I thought. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit download. And I suggest getting a Creative Fabrica All Access account. I will have the link below for that. This is such a good deal. You have access to everything in the Creative Fabrica Um in all the designs and it is just an amazing value. So I'm gonna start with download. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we're going to open this file and it actually looks like this when it comes up. So it's gonna have a product link to Canva. Now um, you will have to have a Canva account. You can either do a free one or you can um, do the pro, I suggest also the pro for this specific project, because if you download these after you design them, you have to have pro to have that uh, clear background, the transparent background. So I suggest if you're gonna do this project to have a Canva pro account. So now when this comes up, we hit the link that says product link here. And it's going to take us to where it says use template for a design. And you can see that it's got all the alphabet in there. So I'm going to click use template for design. And it's going to bring that into my Creative Fabrica account. I'm sorry, into my Canva account. So now you can see it's got all the letters in there. And when they come in looking like this with that um, with that uh, background in there, that is actually clear and you can add images to that. So you can take a picture of your child or of uh, your lake shore and you can um, like go to letter L and you can add the image from your lake house or something, you know, and then you can make shirts with that. Whatever you decide to do with these letters is totally up to you. So now we're going to go to uploads because I uploaded some images already from my Creative Fabrica account. I thought these were super cute. These are these little cows. I thought they'd be really cute for like a little boy or girl, whatever. But we'll start with this one. So now I'm going to click on that image and you just run it over until it goes into your font. So that's what the letter A will look like. Then I'll go to something different here. I'll add this one to the B and then you can go on to another one. I'll add this one to the C. Just play in here and then um, you can add this one to the D. You can do whatever you want. Like I said, these are images that I found on the Creative Fabrica account. You just go into your Creative Fabrica account and you hit, um, what did I put in here? I put uh, cow background in and you can see, or cow, you could put cow paper on graphics. And so you can pick whatever you want. Um, I'll do baby, baby paper. And then you'll come up with all kinds of things. You could add these, you can download this, and these would be your backgrounds in your alphabet. So you can do whatever you want. And then we're going to go back to Creative Fabrica here. So now I'm going to go into my elements here in Canva, and I am going to search for Christmas background. So now we can add, I go to graphics for this. And now you can see that a bunch come up here. You can add these to your alphabet. I'll start with the E here. Add this in there. And there you go. That is also anything that has the little crown here is a pro image. So, I mean, you can decide what how you want to do this. But just to let you know that, here's another one that we'll use for a background for Christmas. Um You can do anything with these. These are super fun. This one, for some reason, won't work. We will just go on to the next here. I'll try this one. 
No, nope. I don't know why when they come in smaller, I can't get them to work. Uh, if someone knows how, put a message below for me because that would be great to know. I'll even try to stretch it out. Oh, there you go. So that one came in and let's see what else we can find here. Let's go to hmm, any of them. So now we'll go to a different background. So say you want to make a football shirt for your child. Um, do football background or your husband or yourself. Um, so you can add football background. So now I'm going to go to graphics again here. And this is cool one. So you just pop it in there. You slide it over the top and it goes right in. So now that's how you would do these letters. And then you, when you share them, you'll hit share and you're going to hit download you're going to want to make sure you have a transparent background or else when you put these on your design, they're not going to show up correctly because they will have a white background on them. So now I'm going to download this and then we will wait and see what we have. Now, the rest of the letters that I didn't put a background in, they'll just be the black outline of the letters. So let's pull this up here after it's done downloading. Now I'm going to start a new Canva design document. So I'm going to go to custom size here and I have some presets. I want three and a half inch by three and a half inch. That's a pretty good size for this alphabet. Now I have already uploaded a few of these, but I will upload one to show you how they work. So when they come in, um, you're going to pick the letters that you want to upload or download, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will do this E here, the Christmas E. I will open this back up into Canva. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this E. I just want to show you what you can do with these. I'm going to click on this E here and I'm going to center it. Maybe you want to make a shirt for a child or for yourself. And so I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to hit text here because I'm going to put a text box in and uh, we'll just assume the name is Elizabeth. Oops, if I can type here, Elizabeth. Okay, so now I'm going to make this bigger, increase my font size. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move it down. You can move it wherever you want. Now I'm going to change the font in here. I have uploaded fonts out of my Creative Fabrica account too. And so if you look for font duos, you can find some really good fonts that go real well together. So I'm going to change this font here. I don't think that one. I don't like that one. I'm just going to go through a couple of these. See what looks kind of cute here. Um, and you can see other videos of mine that show you how you can upload fonts uh, from Creative Fabrica. So you can um, pick the font that you want, upload it, and use it in your design. So search for that. And again, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I think we'll use this one. This was Is Mama Regular? We'll stretch this out. Now also, yeah, I kind of like that overlapping a little bit here too. We'll see. We will see. So now I'm going to go up to color here because when you bring an image in, so this E now is an image. And so when in, uh, in Canva, it will give you the colors of that image. So I really like this. So I'm going to highlight the name here and I'll change the color. So now you can see that it's exact color of one of the colors in the font. So it or in the E there. And then you can also go up to effects here and you can put a background behind it. You can change the color of that as well. Um, you can do something different. You know, you can do all kinds of things. I'm just going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to um, download this again. So you're going to download you're going to hit share and then download. And if you have pro, you definitely want a transparent background. So I will download these both ways to show you the difference. And then I will be back because we will go and we will put these into a word document so that you can see what I mean by um, the 
transparent background and having the white background. So here I've opened a new Word document. So I am going to go into layout and I'm gonna keep it at the portrait. And I've got some custom margin set here. I'm gonna set it to zero. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna insert my images. Um, I did change these up a little bit. Um, so uh, you'll see there's the one that I did and here's two other ones. I'll bring all three of these in to show you. Uh, one I downloaded with the white background, so I want to show you the difference. So when you're using Word for printing, you're going to want to go into Layout Options, and you're going to want to wrap and through, because otherwise you can't move these images around on your paper the way you want to. You can also do that up here to wrap test text and you want to do through. So see, now I can move those around. This is the one that I downloaded without using the transparent background. This would be Canva regular, not Canva Pro account. As you can see, when I hover over these other images, it does not have a clear background. So that may be hard for you to use on some designs. It might not. But here you can see this one has got the clear background. So now I can position this, I can send it backward and I'll wait for the dogs to stop barking here. So here, I... now we're gonna start a new Canva document. So I went back in and I clicked on that link and now I'm gonna use template for the design that's gonna take me into Canva. So what I did was I went out and I took some pictures. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to upload those pictures that we're going to put in these letters. So I've got four fall pictures here. So I'm going to upload those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word fall, F-A-L-L. -L. So I'm going to use this one, see if I can get this to go on the A here. Oops, had it. There you go, the A. And then F, we'll use this one. And then the L, we'll put um, this one in the L. All right, so now I'm gonna download these again. So I'm gonna start this download and I'm gonna use a transparent background again. I'll change this to fall just so that we know we got the right one there. So I'm gonna go into share and download. And again, I'm gonna use the transparent background. Now I'm gonna download these and then I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna bring them into a new Canva document. I'll show you here. Now that those images are uploaded into Canva, I am going to start a new design. Um, I think I'm not going to, I think I will do a, let's see, go to custom size here. I'm gonna keep it in inches, but I'm going to make it eight inches by eight inches, I think. So I will create a design here. Now I'm gonna to go to my uploads and I am gonna pull in my F-A-L and a second L here so that we have our fall letters. And I'm gonna shrink these down just so that I can see what I'm doing here. All right, now move these over. Well, actually I'll get rid of one of the L's cause I'll duplicate that. So we're gonna go, to, we're gonna bring the F in and we're gonna size it. And I'm gonna bring the A up here. And I'm going to put that in place. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to bring this L in and I'm going to shrink it up and make it a little bit bigger here. That looks pretty good. Now I'm actually going to duplicate this one so that I have the same L right here. So now we have the word fall and it's got those beautiful pictures in these doodle fonts. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a text box again, and I'm gonna put the word splendor in there. So I'm gonna have fall splendor. I'm gonna make that bigger so that you can see it here coming in. 
And I'm gonna move it down. And I think I'm gonna make this a small S as well. And now I'm gonna highlight it because I wanna change the font. And I really like that, that beautiful wildflowers font. And I also can add, um, if I go to my Creative Fabrica account, I can also go into tools here into my font cloud because I actually have that uh, that font uploaded in here. And I will show you how to uh, put a swoosh on the R and the S here. So if I go to Beautiful Wildflowers here, and I'll go to the script. And if I go down, you can see the letters here. And if I come down here, these are the small letters and all you have to do is click on it. That copies it to your clipboard and then you go in and I can just replace this S here. Backspace and then I can put that, that S in there. Now I'm gonna go do the same thing with the R. So these are the front swooshes. So let's go to the back. Uh, PQR right here, clicked on it. And now I'm gonna bring it in um, and I'm gonna remove this R here, backspace it here. If I can get in there, so here we go. Go over and backspace and then control V, pop that in. And then I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Let's see. Um, Move it up here. Oh, I like that. Move it down just a hair. Now I'm going to change the color as well. All right. So let's see if I can get this. Go here. Go up to the color. And because the colors that I pulled into the FAL, you can see the beautiful colors that I have a choice from here on what to make the word splendor. So I picked that one. So all in all, this is how that works. And then again, you hit share to down, download this. I'm gonna hit download and I'm gonna do it with a transparent background. And that's it. You download this image and then you can use it in anything that you want to. So I hope this helped. And um, like I said, I'll have links below to items that I've used in this video. Have a great day.